It is smart, well, sort of. It is built to last and has really good suction power and thoughtful placement of all the brushes. That's the new Bagot BG700, which is the first attempt of Bagot to make a smart robotic vacuum. And I've put it on a test. Hello everybody, it's the tech for all channel, Michael speaking, and warmest welcome to you here. We usually inspect cool tech, and the BG700 model by the Chinese company Bagot is no exception to that rule. During the time of testing, it has shown some remarkable qualities, and seems to be a good step up from the predecessor, the BG600, which was reviewed on the channel a few months ago. This vacuum robot is sort of smart. It has Wi-Fi, a scheduler, different cleaning options controllable from the app, integration possibility with Alexa and Google Home, but doesn't have laser distance sensors, nor it supports room maps. That combination turns it into something like a mid-range device, and it belongs to the good ones, because of the obviously good build quality, and costs $200 shy of the mighty Roborock S5 at the moment of making this video. Looks like the competition will be with the cheaper Roborocks, the Denki, iLife and similar brands. The robotic vacuum market is very saturated lately, and I think that the last year has been the strongest about this niche, and sooner or later we will eventually see a decline in the pace of releasing new products, unless something revolutionary happens, which seems to be rather unlikely. $250, which sounds like a pretty good deal to me, and make sure to check the description below the video for a link to the product and hopefully a coupon code or a flash sale. And we can now go to the next part, which is of course the hardware. Beginning with unboxing, everything is as it should be. Packed in cardboard, good design and pretty optimal usage of that space, a lot of documentation and I very much like the welcome message. Provokes at least a smile. We'll leave the paperwork for later, here's the vacuum, the side brushes and there are spares that you also get a magnetic limiter, the charger, the station, a spare HEPA filter and the remote. It is a pack full of good stuff. The top area of the vacuum apparently has only one single button, which can start and respectively stop the cleaning. It is well visible and the design is sleek. More interesting is of course the bottom. There's the main V-brush. In my opinion this has become a must-have already. These V-brushes usually collect a lot of hair and you have to clean them from time to time and the mechanism is quite good and quick release enabled. There's a little wheel on the front, two side brushes. We mentioned the Roborock S5 earlier and it has only one, so that's at least one area where the BG700 by Bagot wins. The wheels are large and you're gonna see in a moment how good they can handle carpets. Few words about the dustbin now, look at the way it is being removed from the body. No need to lift an access panel, we got to have done it in a way that more and more brands are adopting lately, and you're gonna see most Miele, Philips and Roventa models having similar placement of the dustbin. The 0.6 liter capacity immediately makes it the vacuum with one of the largest dustbins out there, and it is designed in a way that even if it's rather full, that won't impact much the suction capacity because of the airflow. Some tech specs. 1600 Pascal suction power, which is well above the industry average. Maximum runtime is around 100 minutes with the 2600 mAh battery, there are collision sensors and a Wi-Fi module. Note that there are three suction modes, there's the standard, the auto and the max mode. With auto you can get the perfect balance, normal suction during most of the time, and it turns the motor to the maximum when carpets are detected, which is exactly how the famous Roborock S5 handles this operation too. Hardware is now clear, it is quite good, so let's move on to the performance and the software controls. Before the first cleaning, make sure to fully charge. If the batteries are empty, then it's gonna take you around 3 hours for a full recharge. Although the robot has no laser object detection system, it can still recognize objects on the front, avoid collisions, even detect edges. There are a few different cleaning modes, the spot cleaning, which sucks at one particular area, or multi-cleaning. The auto mode, which is most optimal and the mode that is expected to be used most frequently, turns out that the three-point cleaning system is quite good. It is expected to capture 99% of the dirt and pet hair, a very optimistic estimation, 
and in fact, it really comes close to that reality. From 59 grams of rice, the robot vacuum managed to bring 56 and a half grams back, and the missing 2 grams and a half were not there because they got stuck under the wardrobe doors. And this is a test I intentionally perform in order to see the efficiency of the side brushes as well. So the BG700 did pretty well here. Other kinds of dirt are not a problem at all. In fact, the smaller the objects, the greater the efficiency is going to be. And the 2.73 inch height is particularly good for reaching under the kitchen furniture. If the BG700 was not that chaotic, and by chaotic, I mean these movements that you see, there's no logic in sight, randomized, unlike the vacuums that create a map, I was probably going to have it as a primary one. But if I give it a little more time, it cleans my kitchen better than the Roborock S5 because it is slimmer. So if you have a rather small room, this Bagot robot is definitely worth considering. Let me show you the app, because it is interesting too. The most complicated from all was finding and downloading the right app, because it is called BG Home, and there are a few of that kind. I will leave a link to the Android app in the description of the video, in case you need it. That actually brings me to my first remark. Bagot should find another framework for registration, because this one asks for a phone number. There aren't many people out there that would willingly share a phone number with an app that stores its data on a cloud, supposedly in a country which doesn't apply strict rules about data privacy. And while saying that, I haven't noticed any unusual activity in that regard, but still, would be nice. Actually, the app is good. Initial discovery of the robot was easy. There are options to configure different rooms, and for each different room, you may set some specific actions. You could see the battery status, you can initiate cleaning, ask the robot to go back to the dock, or use the find function to figure out where it got stuck in case it did. Never had such an issue myself, but these robots can easily choke on a sock or a cable. The scheduling is pretty cool, I guess it may partially compensate the lack of maps. Alexa and Google Home would also be happy, because there's an integration module and you can do the setup from the smartphone app. The only disappointing part is the way we limit the vacuum's range. While it can cover quite a huge area, up to 200 square meter, the only way to limit it is with magnetic strap. Would have been better with a virtual wall, but it is what it is. To sum things up, my opinion is that for a $250 device it performs great. I've used a lot of the older model, the BG600, and then gave it to a friend who has a professional cleaning company, so that motor has been abused a lot and is still good as brand new. Knowing that the motor, the sensors and the main construction of the BG700 is quite similar, I'm pretty sure that this robot will last and serve you well. It is also kind of smart, which is another bonus. If you're curious what even smarter robots can do, make sure to check the link video of the Roborock S5. Links to each one of the products shown I'm gonna leave in the description below. Make sure to use them because at no cost to you, this is a modest support for my channel. And of course, if that video was useful, make sure to give me a thumb up, subscribe to get more tech reviews, and take good care of yourself and your home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.